Welcome back to Gear Check Games. I am Trey, your host, and I am joined by Dan, Joe, and our guest Trent. Welcome to Pickleburg. Hello. Hello, I'm Pickleburg. Home of Boss Pickle. Um, so, as we said last time, each of the areas kind of have a theme to them, and this one is kind of overgrown with vegetation and acid. Oh yeah, so... Grown with pickles. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, and pickle boys, too. Ugh, so, not my kind of neighborhood. To, oh yeah. This is the aftermath of the Rugrats. <laughs> when the Pickles family takes over. So, so, Stu's inventions let him dominate the world. Kind of an apocalyptic it, turn of events, don't you think? Yeah, Rugrats went to Paris was like... <laughs> like Not quite as apocalyptic as all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, something... I'm sorry I talked over you, Trey. Yeah, and then again, when it was my apology. Uh... I really am sorry, but... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Okay, so, two things. Uh, one was... One thing I like about, uh, Zero Mission is whenever you do get a pickup, um... Uh, it doesn't do the whole fanfare, it just does, like, a little sound effect. It just goes... Whoosh. Oh, yeah. Because uh, in Super is... Metroid, that could really slow you down. <laughs> Oh yeah, I like the fanfare though. And then the other thing was, uh, these red crabs can uh, piss up a rope because their eyeballs <laughs> fall down on you after you shoot them, and they do a lot oh, of damage. Yeah. I remember that now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you'll see me struggle with that and try to avoid it to no avail multiple times in this part. So get ready for some laughs. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sh I'm sure that's all the more um, inconvenient when you take double damage. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, there it is again. <laughs> oh my gosh. My eyes will go on. Well, uh, they do keep on rolling. Somebody call James Cameron. Let's get this Metroid movie made. This planet was created by Rareware. So, we're actually oh, coming man. up on the room that is critical to the. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure this is the room that is critical to the only dev unintended sequence break, which is. Uh, Acid Worm Skip, which is a mini boss that we were heading into, is actually wrong. It will be a different one. A lot of the rooms in this area kind of look similar to me. I apologize. Oh, you should you should play the NES version, my dude. Oh god, <laughs> I, I have. That entire okay. game looks similar to me. Uh huh. I mean, I'll give the first game this. Like, they give you those like like giant garish primary colors to like denote what area you're in. But even at that, it's still like like a half measure mm -hmm. yeah. it's it's pretty much like those cart that old cartoon joke where they're running across like a repeating background <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and then they look back and it's just like an actual background on a, a conveyor belt type doodad yeah we don't need so, james cameron we need hanna barbera to make a metroid cartoon um so, while trey is grinding his health back up here i actually do want to mention again this is another one of those little silent tutorials um and he just added you know had activated the main gimmick of this area which is <laughs> zip lines and it forces you to use the zip line at least once so you understand how to use it before you can even leave the room mm -hmm. oh yeah i save a lot here in this area because I know the boss is coming. Spoilers. Uh, it's almost like the area is named after him. <laughs> right? Yeah, Acid Worms Lair. <laughs> yeah. I've never played a Metroid before. I don't know the names of the bosses. Oh boy, look. She's oh, yeah, just giving him like big Zelda-esque boss subtitles. Yeah. This is By the way, oh. check out our playthrough of the only 3D Zelda game not to feature boss subtitles, The Wind Waker. Yeah. But anyway, is this actually, boss a crossover boss? Actually, <laughs> so Acid Worm I really like, but uh, he trolled me quite a bit in my practice run before doing this. Because it had been like four or five years since I had fought him. So I didn't know that he could, like, if you if you stand by the doors to just try to avoid him completely, I didn't know he could spit acid at you. Yep. Uh, um, and that, like, messed up my rotation. Particularly, you can not also stand in the acid to shoot his eyes, and it is extremely useful because he will al always miss grabbing you, but you take the damage from the acid. Oh, oh see, there it is. Oh. <laughs> I was right. just about to comment, man, you've got this fight down to a science. Yeah, and then he's you like just two shots from death, too, is what kills me. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, notably, trademark of uh, after Well, I was going to mention that um, a, a, a common aspect in Metroid games, especially the 2D ones, is as you do more damage to bosses, they change colors, typically getting more red. Oh my um, god, you <laughs> stole my thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. It's okay. uh, and this is very often uh, accompanied by a increase in randomness in their patterns and speed. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool that they get like more desperate. Mm-hmm. Although it is, like I always did keep find swatting it... your uncle in the face, and it gets more re- <laughs> more and more red in the face, oh <laughs> and then he starts to t- coming back more aggressively. Like I understand why they do that from a game design perspective, and I certainly don't fault them for it. I think you'd have to be pretty. Um, pedantic to do that but um i don't know it is kind of weird that like as you know as the boss gets weakened like they become more effective at Mm. countering you i guess it's like you know a cornered base also i don't want to skip over but i just found secret treasure that again i found not knowing it was there on my original few playthroughs of this game that little nice. hallway on the right always gets me. Like, mm-hmm. why is it even I, there? Yeah. Put something there. <laughs> I can't handle this. See, and that that's another thing. Um, a lot of the early a lot of the 2D Metroid devs, uh, they're kind of cheeky bastards. Oh. There are uh, a couple of spots where um part of my language, by the way, I, I apologize. That's okay. <laughs> that's small potatoes, my dude. Sorry, the word cheeky isn't allowed on this <laughs> Christian <laughs> channel. Um, there are a lot of design spots that are just there to troll players. Um, particularly uh, this one, you know, if you don't, you know, slide up to that ledge the first time, you decide, oh, I'll go, I'll just go left and then jump up. It's much lower of a ledge, but you fall back going? down. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> We're going to oh, fight Green. <laughs> Wherever he is. <laughs> <laughs> going to find the king. He's a large green boy. We should call him King Gurkin. <laughs> was 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 Kraid created Kosher. by Professor Pickle from Sonic Unleashed in a cucumber oh, sandwich okay. experiment gone horribly awry? Professor Pickle. Don't worry, we'll play Unleashed someday. You will come to understand. Is that like oh Bobby from Bobby's World? Is that like his little <laughs> ball? Is that what its name is? Uh, I'm not familiar with the reference. Oh man, I, for- I forget I'm old. Hi, uh, this is Trey. Uh, I did some research. Uh, the name of Bobby's toy superhero is Captain Squash. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Sorry. <laughs> So we're we're done with the acid room, uh, acid boss room. So now we're like, oh, I'm guessing we're gonna save here. There we go. Oh yeah, I skipped some saves. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> right. The um, room just went dark, and then suddenly uh, this was in a new place. Um. Okay, so this is actually the room that I was mentioning earlier. So in this room, if you can skip turning on the zipline, if you do some pretty finicky inputs in this room, where you basically jump from that block that he just passed oh. over there, it is it is not a fun time, but it is required for the speedruns. So like, I'm guessing they have to- oh god, this guy. I do not like this enemy. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are almost mini boss, yeah. mini bosses. He's he's thick. They're micro bosses. Kind of reminds yeah. me of the mini Kraid from uh, Super Metroid. Oh, yeah, here's another one. Um, yeah. And you can't even just skip them. It is required oh, to get sprinting. past this locked door. They're a missile hmm. toll booth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, that is actually a pretty pretty apt way of thinking about them. They are either a skill check for can you beat them without missiles, which is doable, but annoying. Mm-hmm. Or do you just have enough? Because... It's like hard mode on Metroid Prime, it just takes longer. It does hard mode on mm-hmm. Prime give you the same restrictions, like more damage, less health, and armor pickups? No, it's just enemies do more enemies do more damage. They do twice as much damage and take okay. twice as much uh, punishment. Right. It... Ah, the most interesting and fun kind of hard mode. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know... It's, I, I can forgive Metroid Prime for that. I, I, I do enjoy your sus- suspicion of just a 
blank hallway tray. It's like, hmm, yeah, there might be well, something that's like here. The trick of Metroid. It's basically, it's kind of like Zelda 1, just bomb every block, see what you find. Yeah, get Absolutely. ready for the most patient pickup ever. I gotta, I gotta bomb all these blocks and use the speed boosters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, it is a tedious puzzle. And whatever poor, unfortunate ripper happens to be in your way. <laughs> yeah, man, they're just, they're just doing their thing, just living their lives. I mean... Zooming back <laughs> and forth. Back they have so a routine. And forth. Dead. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at that thing. That is the <laughs> that is that is a fine specimen right there. Also, <laughs> absolute unit. Yeah. Also, all of these pickups are pretty much necessary because Crane, like, I waste a lot of missiles just by doing stupid stuff. Well, Crane is kind of a. I mean, this is coming from, as I said, a pretty unskilled uh, zero mission player. But in most of his appearances, Crane is just kind of a war of attrition. A little bit, isn't he? yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes. Like, even if you're not good at him, you can, like, beat him if you have enough energy tanks and missiles. Right. And because his patterns are extremely simple, he does the same attacks with fair, you know, a, a large amount of regularity um, <laughs> that any any player should be able to beat them without too much difficulty. Um, so, and, you know, as with every Metroid boss, they do something that can give you ammo back. Typically, this is yeah. the projectiles they throw. You can shoot them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you certainly, if you if you get on the ropes with a with a boss, you can certainly just kind of go into a more defensive mode and win through attrition. So uh, not to mm -hmm. uh, not to derail this, but I'm lost. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> well, with that I, in I, mind, <laughs> um, I was gonna say uh, Spore Spawn, uh, the first like. Well, okay, not um, the, the, no, the second boss from Super, the... Super Metroid. Um, okay, that boss right. is pretty much just like its pattern is like intermittent periods where it's vulnerable and periods where it's just spawning a bunch of tiny little projectiles that can be shot yeah. to give you pickups. So, I yep. mean, to me, that kind of epitomizes what a... you were talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, right, of just kind of the silent tutorial of, you know, we're going to have you interact with these mm -hmm. mechanics in a controlled environment so you can learn them. Yeah, it teaches... let, it, let it sink in. Yeah, uh, I, I think that is one of, like, one of the best things about the Metroid games is, other than the flavor text whenever you get, you know, a new ability just saying mechanically what it does, this game doesn't tell you how to do things. It mm -hmm. shows you how to do things. Well, in a game like this, where the you know the gameplay is like so much of the focus, uh oh, I think nope. Trey might need the game to tell him how to do things. <laughs> um, now this uh, this missile right here, like, is there a way to get this like early uh, without on without the conveyor belt? Oh yeah, I mean, there's a way to cheese it. Yeah, like if if you. Effectively, with the way the pitfall blocks work, you can just cheese it by jumping on the frame you touch the a pitfall block and doing that repeatedly. Beautiful. So. Uh oh. I don't think I've ever gotten that missile. <laughs> <laughs> I just some some time my you. brain does not work. So I literally check every room I'm <laughs> right. supposed to go to before trade, and I. It was one yeah. of those hallways that you uh, you ran through before. Yep. I think you opened the secret <laughs> shortcut. He did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome to I... every time I play a Metroid Ooh. game. Just check every single room before the boss, and if I find the boss before it's the last room, just leave and yeah. check every other room, and then come back to the boss. I don't know boss. why sure. either, because like. So this is. Uh, I did a practice run, and I know where the path is. I'm being dumb. So was this like an actual legitimate not, missing? No, I can't. Oh, not getting that energy tank. He, he doesn't can't. have the speed booster. Yeah. So. Oh, he doesn't have the speed booster yet. Yeah, he gets yeah. It for, you get it from Crate, don't you? I'm really getting my uh, my playthroughs mixed up with this and Super. <laughs> well, yeah, you're supposed to get in Super. You get Varia from from Crate, don't you? Yeah. Both of them give you the uh, screw attack after Ridley, yeah. though, right? Wait, no. 
But you can yes, check they before, do. Or, no, right before they don't. Ridley and Super. Nope. Wait. Okay. Right, oh yeah, right before Ridley, and yeah. this one is actually way after. I think you get the morph ball from the room to the left after you come down the elevator. Yes. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> yes. I know I know we've been through this this section before, but what is that lava pit? That I'll tell you, I'll I tell mean, you what that is. That is some that is some NES tomfoolery right there. I mean, there was a ripper in it though. Yeah. There was a ripper in it. I don't know. <laughs> Rippers have established themselves as invincible enemies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really bat an eye uh, at, at them being able to survive longer. Tonight at eleven. Ripper yes. Van Winkle. Yeah, here. <laughs> um. Well, I was gonna say like. Go ahead. Super we item? didn't really talk about this unknown in the previous item. parts, but the, I like the addition of the unknown items in this game. And how they all coalesce at the end of the mm -hmm. game, right? To just make you this like, yeah, kind of a nice, <laughs> not a, kind of a nice payoff, especially if you're familiar with the original yeah. Metroid, which did not have these. Hmm. That's my thing with um, with like Zero Mission versus um, the original Metroid. Like, I I really appreciate like the design ethos behind the original Metroid, and I feel like Zero Mission kind of got away from it by. Maybe giving you a little bit too much guidance at times compared to the original game, but ultimately I stew dill. I I do still prefer zero. Oh no, stew dill. <laughs> <laughs> the pickles are taking over. They've begun. If you if you can see my face cam, my uh, my skin is turning green, I'm getting very uh, pruney. Um, but no, I, I I do. I'm not Joe. <laughs> I have deceived oh all of you, um, but. I do still prefer Zero Mission over uh, the NES Metroid because at the end of the day, like, you know, all of these rooms are unique and have, like, fun, well-designed challenges for you to overcome. As opposed to the original Metroid, which had a much more... Like, the... I, I prefer the structure of the original Metroid in that, like, you have more freedom to explore and get lost in this world and kind of go at your own pace. But, at the, but, you know, that game is made up of, like, dozens of repeated, copied and pasted hallways that all look the same and are nearly impossible to navigate without a yeah. without some kind of supplementary help. This has all the quality mm -hmm. of life. Uh -huh. Right. I, I feel like... I, I feel like the original Metroid uh, would have been... would have aged a lot better had they included a mapping mechanic, which uh, we do know is possible because of a ROM hack. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, a, a fan-made ROM hack that you know includes a map system, mm -hmm. um, and it's it, it's a huge benefit. And um, I I do also believe there is a, just a ROM hack of the original Metroid that just adds a map to that from uh, Mother. I think it has to cut down on some room content, so you do get some more copy and pasted rooms. He is. But uh, and oh. here he is, the absolute unit himself, the king of pickles. Oh yeah, that guy from Melee. Look at, look at these yeah. crazy oh, yeah. FMV cutscenes. Yeah. The PS2 is really impressive hardware. <laughs> so, um, as you've probably already been able to see, the gimmick of Kraid is you can't damage him unless you first hit his eye to open his mouth. Mm -hmm. And he also destroys the stage as he goes about yeah. shooting his, his pickles, pickles from his, his belly. Claws. How does he keep going? Yeah, that's kind of the um, like the defining trait of most of the major bosses in this game is you're unable to hit to them shoot unless out of their bellies. Yeah, exactly. I'm, gl I'm glad we're on the same wavelength here, Dan. But no, um, having like a very specific like window of time where you're able to uh, damage saw them. Saw how close uh, I was too. Gotcha. I mean, the you got pickled because those. The for, for me, the ultimate example being um, Mother Brain, because like I've I've fought that boss, I've I've played through this game in full probably like five or six times, and I still cannot consistently kill that boss. There is just so much <laughs> crap trying to kill you during that final section where you're fighting her. The little yep. orange ball she shoots out. Yeah, those those yeah. Those, those onion rings can. What whatever work. designer uh, designed the rinkas, like whoever co came up with that idea, just why no? Is is hope, is hopefully in prison. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. 
And he's not Your a good spot gone. to help. <laughs> oh god, time to be patient. Um... Oh, you so, aren't either. I, I do also say that I just really like the crate fight. Um, it is really interesting that he, you know, slowly oh, destroys it's... your, you know, your platform. And your soul. Your will to live. Hmm. And um, he's got three projectile belly buttons. Um, How so, else are you going to take Samus Jesus. down? I mean, really. What biological purpose do those serve? To, to defeat Samus. <laughs> yeah. They're like a defense against predators. Um, like, do you think he's... <laughs> how do, how, do you think his body, like... I don't know, it's got to make those, like, specifically shaped hand-looking I mean, things. why do you think he's so big? I guess. He's just a belly button belly just keeps all the little hand things factory. in it. Um, so, a lot of you guys might point out that, you know, Kraid actually took quite a few missiles, almost, almost, uh, 25 to 30. Uh, if you do the reverse boss order, Pet which is, uh, More basically the speed run, the <laughs> you have... <laughs> I thought it was in the game for a sec. You have, um, you have like, super missiles this. by this point, if you're doing the reverse order, and yeah, Kraid dies in three of them. You can get this fight over before he even has a chance to, like, fully stand up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're fast enough. And also, here we have one of the most iconic uh, power-ups of all of the Metroid games. Yeah, the speed booster. favorite. And you might even say that this inspired all of the F-Zero series. It's, it's the, it's the <laughs> bead it. booster. You got a new booster! Even though it came out in Super Metroid, which was released three years after the original <laughs> F-Zero. Um, do your research, Trent. Oh, oh I just wanted to make a poor, uh, a poor F-Zero joke, because That's okay. Nintendo isn't here. making anything for F-Zero anymore. <laughs> Damn. Our friend Dylan Rip. cries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we ever do GX, we'll probably have to act like actually have him recorded. Oh, yeah. So I don't think any of us can beat that game. No, I, I refuse. I, I can barely beat Diddy Kong Racing, much less that. Uh -huh. So, um, particularly, this room that Trey's in is actually the end of many players' original NES Metroid runs, because this block spire that Trey is also having issues getting up uh, was much harder to climb in the NES game where you didn't have Speed Booster. Because Ooh. with this one, you're actually intended to just speed boost through that block. Yeah. And with the shine spark. I'm I'm choosing to do everything my way, which is the hard way. It's the Understandable. Only way. Me? Hard head? No. My way. Oh yeah. Is it the highway to the danger zone? The highway to the byway. Sorry, I'm just enjoying this music. I know. I know we talked about it last time, but Kraid's Lair. Mm. Easily top five Metroid songs. Oh, yeah. Certainly very iconic. And uh, and uh, props to uh, Mr. Hirokazu Tanaka, who composed it. Um, in my opinion, one of the great unsung composers at Nintendo from the uh, NES era. And so a little bit beyond. Uh, this save room, uh, I think, I don't know for certain, but I think there is treasure to the right. Uh, oh, yeah. Because, like, look at that little indention in the wall. That just looks like a shadowy passage. But I, I refuse to check it out because I'm impatient. <laughs> yeah. Isn't there, oh, like, a... I mean... In one of these save rooms, isn't there, like, speed blocks you can get through? I, think I so. don't think so. From, like, a different direction. Uh, hmm. Um, I, I was sure I had seen that somewhere, but I don't know. Maybe my memory's playing tricks on me. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Feel free to post in the comments how much Trey is missing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll see it and uh, do it later in the yeah, playthrough. Absolutely. You can count on us. <laughs> it's it's not at all all already recorded. <laughs> no, Good night, certainly everybody. not. See you next time. See you. Goodbye.